can't do all that romance stuff. I'm more into science fiction. Yeah, I like all that as well, Dave. <laughs> I mean, you think about space. It's everywhere, isn't it? <laughs> You're right, you can't move for it, can you? <laughs> well, I read something the other day that was very frightening. Scientists have just discovered this gigantic black hole, right, right on the very edge of our galaxy. And if our planet continues on its ever-widening orbit, then eventually we'll be sucked into it and destroyed. Well, I'll make sure I'm out that day. <laughs> so when's this going to happen? <laughs> well, you know, they can't be too specific, can they? They can't sort of say, you know, Saturday the 12th of March at half past three, can they? No, well, you know, they can give us an idea, you know, give or take a fortnight. Well, you know, roughly, within two to three hundred million years. Oh, well, we got time for a quick one then, haven't we? <laughs> so what are they going to do about it, Dave? <laughs> well, what are you going to do about it? Well, the government. Well, there's nothing. They're going to send McAlpines up with a spaceship full of bricks. <laughs> no, they need more than one. <laughs> Dill, I know you don't believe in all this UFO rubbish, but I've been sitting here looking out of that window at the sky and I suddenly noticed a star. Well, it's night trig, it happens. <laughs> yeah, but this star suddenly disappeared just for a split second and then it came back again. And then it disappeared. And then it came back again. <laughs> and then it disappeared. <laughs> and then it came back again. <laughs> Do you think that's a close encounter? No, it's called blinking. He's <laughs> <laughs> done it again, look. <laughs> no, missed it. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it, eh? Dear God.